Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at my Earthworm Gym Collection. So, let's start with Jim, since he's right up front here. So let's grab carded. So I have all of the figures carded except for an actual Earthworm Jim, just the basic. Um, so let's start with him. So there are variants and of the, these figures, I think all of them, but I'm not 100% sure, but we'll talk about that. So, um... First up, let's look at Jim. So I've got Jim over here. I do have some extra accessories. I'm hoping I find another one at some point to make a custom out of. Except for this one's got a broken gun tip. Something to watch out for. They should have a gun tip like this. So we'll zoom in here a little bit. So we got Earthworm Jim, and he comes with three different accessories. So first up, you have Snot. So as far as this figure goes, they had two versions, one with red accessories and one with green accessories that I'm aware of. Um, and then they had a blister or a carded figure, which is like this one you see back here, fully painted. And then later they released, um, it may have been like a KB Toys exclusive, I'm not sure, but they released the figures um, on a blister card, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's not a bubble like this one. It's a, like a clamshell, like it molded around the figure. So it doesn't have all the extra packaging on it. Um, and the big difference on those is, and I've got a few I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, they don't have as much paint. So see how this one has this blue shading on it? The one that was released separately, or as a variant, um is all white there's no real paint apps except for the blue and yellows um this one does have the poppable head i'm not sure which one's in better shape that one definitely that one so that one's the one that's gonna go on him i'm hoping i find one in better condition that's just the body only um then I hopefully will then I'll have another one and I'll paint this one. So as far as accessories you have a little blaster here. No paint. And as far as I know, it they didn't come painted on any of the versions. And then you have snot. And then earthworm, basic articulation, bends at the wrist, shoulder, legs. The holster uh, actually could be usable, but nothing really fits in there, except for, I think you get the handle. Nope, can't even get the handle of the gun in there. So it's pretty well worthless. It's cool it's there, but it'd be nicer if it actually was worth anything. Um, now, as far as the accessories, you have the battle damage version, and they come with basically the same accessories, except for the accessories are slightly damaged. So this is battle damaged on this side, and then regular on this side. Um, let's, we'll just keep talking about the accessories. So on this gun... You can see that there's battle damage on the gun, whereas this one there's not. And on snot, you can see battle damaged, regular, and that one's definitely got a different face sculpt and more battle damage on the back side. Now this version is the one that came on the blister card. You can tell because you can see the paint apps. So there's no uh, yellow in his teeth. Uh, the big giveaway is you don't see the copper on the arm. 
and it doesn't have the battle damage on the legs. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's battle damage on the legs. Um, now I got some of these carded for a good price because the packaging is pretty disgusting. There's actually bugs in some of these. Obviously they're dead. They look like they've been sitting in an attic and bugs got inside them, but I'm tempted to open some of those. Um, but as far as this figure goes, he had a turning head, basic articulation. Um, his gimmick was that his chest would shoot off, and his chest is this white piece here. And that would plug into the chest there. So there's the two different versions. So, no paint apps on those. Now the only one I am missing that I don't have any version of, loose or carded, is obviously I didn't make carded. They made a mail away. Uh, he's uh, basically this figure, but he's all black with green accents on him. Uh, it was a mail away, it came in a bag, no card. Um, it's pretty pr pretty expensive, goes for about a hundred bucks, so I have not found him yet or wanted to pay for him. I can get him on eBay all day long, but I really don't want to pay eBay prices for it. All right. Now, one of them I don't have loose is this, which is Princess What's Her Name. Um. So, this is kind of the damsel in distress, I guess. Um. She has a little bug launcher that comes with these two little discs, uh, giant blue gun, and then this little guy. Which I think he should have been his own figure. If I remember right in the cartoons, they were red and big. I mean, I think they should have been their own figure. So, oh, I never showed you the back of this box. Sorry. So here is this box. the back and if you want to pause and read and there's all the characters I like the uh, paint job that they originally had on these guys um Let's look at monstrous Peter Puppy. So here we got Peter Puppy. Got a couple loose ones over here. Um, all of these three are the exact same from what I can tell. Um, so I basically have one loose complete, but I have an extra figure, so I kind of share his accessories. Um, he had this gun that would shoot missile. Oh, went too far. And then he's got his club. Doesn't swivel at the waist, which I wish he did because he really can't stand. Um, he does have an articulating mouth. And then he does have the shield. It's got a painted handle on the back. And then you have, there's Peter Puppy, and he gets mad and basically hulks out and turns into the monstrous Peter Puppy. And here's his carded figure. This one's kind of torn back here. This guy loose either. Uh, this is Bob and number four. Bob is the evil goldfish that can be placed into uh, number four's hand 
And number four is just this giant gladiator cat. He's got a sword. He's got this giant launcher. I think that's pretty much all he comes with. Um, his action is you put the goldfish in his hand and he will throw it. The weapons are supposed to be gold, which I think would have looked cooler. If it had a metallic finish to it. Maybe if I ever get one, I will do a custom paint job on him. And then this one, I don't really care if I have a second of this one. I mean, if I run across it, I'll buy it, but I'm not going to spend eBay prices to get a loose one. So this is Earthworm Jim in his deep sea mission suit. So we got a bubble breathing tank. He's got a couple little spears on the side and a spear launching wrist rocket thing here on both sides. Um, he does have a backpack on the back and flippers. And he's got this hose that goes over to the gun. Uh, it actually shoots water. And he's got this fish. He's got his blaster with a spear coming out of it and then a knife that I think actually might go in his boot. Nope, I guess not. Yeah, it shows it in his boot. But I don't see... How? Oh. oh, maybe it's got a peg on it. I think it's just got a peg. And then we'll look at Hintrat, one of my favorites. Um, so I got two versions of him. Well, this one is obviously nowhere close to being complete. Um, you can definitely tell the difference in the paint job on these guys. I mean, he basically has no paint, no wrist paint, no leg paint. Very, very basic paint job on him. He actually looks like he's wearing a piece of Swiss cheese. Um, he's got a, some cool articulation on the head. Um... How it's designed, he can kind of move it all around. Um, I don't have all the parts for either of these guys. I've got a knife and one of the missiles. Um, and he's supposed to come with Evil the Cat, which is this guy. Um, which, in my opinion, is one of the coolest parts about this figure. So he's got a little uh, gun that clips on his shoulder. And then he's got this rocket firing gun and then his knife and then the cat so he's pretty loaded up on the accessories and then we got psycho so this is the basic version the one that came on the blister you can see um, as far as the paint jobs go. He doesn't have the red rings around the arms. Um, legs aren't painted. Uh, he doesn't have the little airbrushed orange section there. Um, it doesn't have inside the collar. You can see there it's red. This one does not have the red inside. Um, head and gun look like they're about the same. The antenna is the same. Um, here he is, and he comes with, um, Snot? No, what was his name? Mucus, Major Mucus. Snot's the, yeah. Um, and he's got a backpack that he wears, and then he's got a little blaster gun right here. Can't really see it that well. There it is, but this one's yellow. And the last thing is the pocket rocket that only does that and that spins. Uh, it's supposed to have a windshield that goes up here. I do not have it. 
I don't think I paid 16 for it, but I may have. So that is all of my uh, Earthworm Jim collection. Um, they did make, uh, I believe Mezco made an Earthworm Jim figure that's fully articulated and there's a company, I can't remember, getting ready to come out with almost like a Super 7 Ultimates kind of edition of all these characters. Um, there was a statue, I believe, that I've I had in my search history for a while, but it just never pops up. Um, there's obviously a cartoon, a couple video games, um, comic book. I think there was a four issue series with Marvel, if I remember right. Um, yeah, uh, one of my favorite little toy lines. Um, like I said, still working on getting a few little pieces here and there to. You know, as I go, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it, with the collection, and uh, hope this video was a little bit helpful for you if you're uh, looking to complete a collection. Um, most of these figures, uh, carded, are gonna run you thirty to fifty. Um, loose complete, most of them are gonna run you thirty-ish or less, uh, especially complete. Trying to find them loose complete's tough. Um, Earthworm Jim obviously is the most expensive uh, outside of the mail away. I think the mail away is actually more expensive than the actual Earthworm Jim figure. Uh, loose. Now, a carded Earthworm Jim figure, I think, goes for more than the mail away, typically. The Mezco one, if you want that one, that's more articulated and stuff, um, that will set you back quite a bit. Um, but it's not a bad toy line to collect. Uh, if it was me, I would probably recommend buying them all carded because there's not a huge difference between carded and complete pricing and if you want to open them open them if not you know um that's my recommendation on if you're going to collect them i would try to get the figures loose um this pocket rocket will go goes for quite a bit in the box um finding one with the windshield is almost impossible uh they don't show up very often and if you're hoping to buy one of these and buy the windshield separate at some point, good luck because that windshield does not pop up on eBay very often. It's been in my search, uh, save searches on eBay for quite a while. And when they do pop up, they go quick or they're very expensive. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do you guys have these? Let me know in the comments. Did you watch the cartoon? Did you play the video game? Did you have the toys? Do you still have the toys? Do you want to buy the toys? Let me know. What's your Earthworm Jim experience down in the comments? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.